What's cracking, folks? It's your boy Hat Free Speaks, and we're going to jump in today with Aerosmith Living on the Edge, the official music video, baby. You know how it be, you know how it do. It's the official music video, and hopefully, the video don't get damn blocked off this channel, boy. Best not get blocked off this channel because I'm gonna be I'll, I'll be I'll be up in arms, yo. I will be up in arms and there'll be a damn riot. Yeah, I said damn. All right, folks, if you're new, be sure to bang that subscribe button as it helps support the channel and it also keeps you up to date whenever a video like this might be dropping on the channel. So you might be in the loop and you might be inclined to watch it. In fact, forget being inclined, just watch it. Um, so yeah, Aerosmith, I am familiar with the group uh, Walk This Way, they did it with Run DMC Rock and Roll meets Hip Hop back then in the 80s I guess when that song was done And it almost, it, I guess it broke, uh, it broke a cultural norm um, Music pioneers back then I guess were leading uh, I guess the, the um, <sighs> United world we live in today um, You know, so musicians have a great power M Musicians have a, a, a great sense of creativity that I guess us mere mortals can only hope for and, and, and admire, uh, you know, in, in a sense where we um, attain to. Because sometimes when you're that creative, you, you, you all you want to do is make sure there's some sort of level of harmony uh, outside of the, the rock and roll lifestyle, if you so will. But anyway, uh, yeah, so the Walk This Way uh, track that was done with Run DMC and, and obviously, of course, Aerosmith was certainly, a, I guess, a statement that was, I guess, put out there to i guess anybody that didn't really mix uh, with between different races you know and the fact they could bring two different genres together and two different fan groups together into one was a start well i believe was a start of something quite unique um and, and may have obviously i guess inspired groups like limp biscuit lincoln park you know, you got that rock and hip hop vibe continuing forward. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. That's just my opinion. You know where you heard it, baby. You heard it here first. Trendsetter in the making. You know what I'm saying? So let's jump in. It's a first time listen, first time reaction, first time watching. And I'm getting to share that with you literally for the first time. So let's jump in without further ado. wrong with the world today I don't know what it is Something's wrong with our eyes We're seeing things in a different way and God knows it ain't his It sure ain't no surprise Um they be the trendsetters. What what a what a um I guess interesting video. We started off with criminal activity uh, initially, uh, girls wearing short skirts, riding ro on riding on roller skates with hockey sticks, smashing up cars, and we have a fully naked man uh, stood in, in the video. So yeah, um, okay, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just jump back in. It sure ain't no surprise Yeah, we're living on the edge Yo Living on the edge Where did that alien come out from? Hold up It's It sure ain't no surprise Yeah, we're living on the edge I like the way the chorus is saying we're living on the edge and you can hear a bit of melody in the background. Da -da 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 -da. 
and then the bass is just strumming. Oh, it's it's really it's, it's a really great crafted song. Right there. This bit reminds me of a uh, Jamera choir. It, um, what's that song? Insanity or something like that. Virtual Insanity. Go check that. I think I've done a reaction to it. Not, I'm not I've never done a reaction to Jamera choir, but the video. Uh, in, uh, yeah. Anyway, cool. All right. So, so he must have this video here might have inspired him to do that one, possibly.
Wait, that school teacher was a bloke. Are you John O'Connor? That was a guy from Terminator, wasn't it? That kid. I'm looking for John O'Connor. I'm trying to do an Arnold Schwarzenegger there impression of when he does a Terminator. Uh, what? He... Okay, man. Living on the edge. Bum, 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 bum. Layers in that song were great. Layers in that song were great. Um, what? Well, yo, and that video, I think the artistic um, value in that video is quite, quite, it's, it's really good. It's got of a, it's, an, it's a video that's got, a, it's got an appeal to watch again. It has that appeal because there's a lot going on. And then obviously, oh no, shock horror, the cliffhanger. Um, the, the person that was the hot teacher turns out to be a guy who dresses up as as that hot teacher oh my gosh you know that threw me off as well but hey who hot um the bloke on the guitar on the train before the train hit him i was like come on you know that was cgi back then you know the green screen and then they put it there you ain't gonna be able to beat what queen did when they were on the train you seen that um so that was that was pretty neat but yeah man and then let me know what's the um, what's the deal with that green alien popping in the video um does it have any significant to the video significant significance in the video or not it's just a random thing like most of the things in this video are just random um but yeah hopefully there's some sort of uh, method in the madness here um that's what i, I guess I'm, I'm i'm looking for but anyway perhaps i'm looking for meaning with, with when there isn't any but the song was great decent it's got the layers there uh, and I say decent in, in the most humblest way because that was a brilliant song. It was brilliant. Um, catchy. And the choruses. The choruses. Uh, I guess the backdrop of the bass in there as well. Just added that extra depth to it. Um, but yeah, that was it. All right, folks. That was my reaction. Do forgive me if I did waffle on a bit. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.